been on this show before, and it's always a pleasure having the general manager of the Aces join us, Natalie Williams, right now on the line. Natalie, I appreciate you coming on. How are you? I'm doing great, Brian. Thanks for having me on. Of course. Appreciate you coming on again. As the general manager, do you have any nerves today? The start of the playoffs, are, are you a little nervous, confident? What, what, what do you feel right now? Uh, I'm excited. So, I mean, this is, you know, being a former athlete, this is kind of the time of the year where you look really forward to it. The fact that we're, we got the number one seed um, playing a Phoenix team who, you know, I'm sure is definitely fighting hard, but it helps not to have two of their star players tonight. Yeah, no question about that. Uh, is Skyler not playing? Skyler is not playing, and neither is Diana Taurasi. Wow, I, I I didn't even know Taurasi wasn't playing as well. So they are depleted, and, and obviously the whole we all know what's going on with the whole Brittany Griner situation. So you, really, you make the argument three of their top players from last year are, are not playing. So this is a depleted team. With that being said, is there any worry at all about you know maybe a setback and and maybe take? I'm not saying this team has done that before, but when you're out when you don't have your starters in there, sometimes you, you get a little letdown from the team that's expected to blow them out. Is there any concern about that at all? Uh, I don't think so. I think um, the girls are really excited. It is for them, um, you know, a time of the year that they've been waiting for. I feel like, you know, I wasn't a part of this group last year, but just in watching, um, they've got unfinished business, and this is the first step. So yeah. I don't think they're going to take Phoenix lightly at all. And, and, you know, Phoenix has, even without Skyler and Diana, they've been playing well, and um, the girls that don't get as much playing time are – really been, you know, proving their worth on, on the Phoenix roster. So, you know, they're going to battle it out tonight. So we're not going to take them easy. I kind of like, uh, Natalie, what Becky Hammond said in a press conference the other day, where obviously you guys accomplished, mission accomplished what you wanted during the regular season. But Becky Hammond also said, we haven't won blank yet. I can't say the word she used <laughs> on, on the air. And, but I love that, Natalie. I love that because she's right. Yeah, we, we did what we needed to do to get to the playoffs, but – you know, this is season two. Everyone has zero wins and zero losses. You know what I mean? So uh, I, I, I kind of like that attitude. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I 100% agree with Becky. Um, yeah, we've, we've had one goal in mind uh, from the start of the season, and that is to win a championship. I know that they feel that. They feel that they, you know, left it short, especially uh, some of the players from, from last year. And so um, – I think they're really feeling good, but they know it's one game at a time. They're playing very well as a team. And, yeah, unfinished business. They haven't won anything. And, hey, uh, everybody's good at this point. So yeah. um, they're going to come out and play very hard tonight. I hate to use the term payback. We know what took place against Phoenix last year, and I know it's a completely different circumstance. But with that being said, is it fair to say that's in some of the players, the back of their minds, players that were on the roster last year? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure of it. A hundred percent. So that, you know, our goal, especially with how the layout of the playoffs is this year, our goal is to work really hard to win in two. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that's in all of their minds. Get it done. The crowds have been great, but I liked uh, Asia Wilson when I, I don't want to use the term tangent because I enjoyed it actually, but Asia Wilson said, Hey, we got to get everybody here. I think she pretty much named every celebrity in town and every organization and like, everybody's got to come out to this game tonight. What did you think of uh, what Asia Wilson had to say in regards to getting as many people out to this game as possible? Well, I loved it. I mean, Asia does a great job at being creative and trying to get everybody out. Uh, I've noticed a few people on Twitter are, are definitely coming. So She's she got the word out and uh, piqued the interest, and hopefully we have a great crowd tonight and Saturday. What what did it mean to you as a player? Uh, you had an unbelievable career. Uh, what did it mean to you when you had like celebrities sitting courtside? Because I remember the game the other day, right? We had pretty much the entire Phoenix Suns team there. You had a bunch of NBA players there. You you always uh, Mark Davis, obviously the owner of the team, he's always there, but he always brings people with him. Uh, high profile people. Floyd Mayweather was there. Uh, last week, and, and of course, you, you always have the local celebrities that seem to come out and support this team. What, what did that mean to you back in the day when you were playing, when you had somebody uh, on the sideline, whether a, a current NBA All-Star type player or a big celebrity that you admire? What did that mean to you as a player? Because I would imagine you guys notice that when you're on the court, you're focused on the game, but you notice those people that give you the support, right? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Um, I mean, it's great respect uh, for them to come out, and you know that as a player. And so you want to play even harder because you're trying to impress them. 
they're there to watch, you know, your team or someone on the other team. And regardless who it is, you definitely want to impress. So um, it's fun to have all those people there. We appreciate everyone coming out and watching the Aces. And, hey, they're always going to get a great show. It's definitely one of the greatest shows in Vegas. Mm-hmm. I-, I hate to uh, bring up a topic that is outside of the game tonight, but were you? do you have any reaction and were you surprised at all? that uh, I know this doesn't concern you with the aces, but that Liz Cambage kind of, I I guess we could call it semi-retire. I don't know if she'll be back, but she's taken uh, some time away from the game. What did you make of that story? Well, I mean, and knowing a little bit of Liz's history, I mean, she, um, you know, I think she was focused on working on a different part of her career. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Let's put it that way. That's true. And (laughs) (laughs) I don't think basketball is as important to her as it was in the past. It definitely was the avenue to get her to where she is now (laughs) socially. Um, And, you know, hey, if it works for her, great for her. Um, And I wish her all the best, really. That's a very nice way of answering that. Let me let me ask you this one more question when it comes to this stuff. How would you have reacted as a professional? Obviously, you were the utmost professional when you played in the league, in the WNBA. If you had a star player on your team that quit midseason or three quarters of the way through the season and first said, well, she, she didn't want to give up a certain number. And then, as you alluded to, you know, she takes half naked, naked pictures of her all over the Internet and she charges. And if somebody like that made a decision to quit, because that's kind of what she did in the middle of the season, how would you have reacted and what would you have thought as one of her teammates? Well, I guess it depends on, um, you know, as a team, it takes a team to win games. I mean, you know that, Mm -hmm. right? So if that person is not as invested as you would hope them to be, and they were hurting the team in any way because they weren't as invested, then, then I would have said, you know, it was probably for the best. Right. Um, you know, the world probably may not see it like that. The, the LA, uh, organization or I guess fan base probably wouldn't see it as that, but as a teammate of hers, they're probably thinking it was for the best for the team so that they could move on and focus, you know, at, uh, winning games and, and competing as a team. So that's probably what I would feel as a player. Couldn't agree with you more. And I am not putting all the blame on Liz Cambage, but you could tell me whether you agree or not. I will state it like this. The Las Vegas Aces, as you know, even though you know you weren't around the team last year, uh, the Aces were a few baskets away from getting to the NBA or the WNBA finals last year. Liz Cambage had one of the worst games of her career in a must-win game. I, I, I'm not saying she was responsible for any chemistry issues they had, but all I will say is this. When the Las Vegas Aces got rid of her, I immediately said to myself, this is good for the basketball team. And you're right. It's probably good for her that she's away from the game. I think you'll agree with me on this. The chemistry of this Las Vegas Aces team this year, the bond that they have with Becky Hammond, the bond that they have with their teammates. I sit right behind the bench every game. I see it on the sidelines. You know, a player that maybe never plays or hardly ever plays, always up clapping, you know. And then when players that are starters that are sitting on the bench, maybe it's a blowout and, and they have some of their bench players out there, you see the camaraderie and how they root for their teammates. I just think the chemistry of this team is through the roof. I'm sure you would agree with me on that. Yeah, I mean, you know, I know in order to win a championship, you've got to have great team chemistry. Even if you don't like everyone, you've got to trust each other and get along at least on the court. Um, One thing I've noticed with being with them all year is they do really care about each other. They have fun together, which I'm sure, you know, everyone's noticed with all their TikToks and (laughs) and, and fun antics. But um, that is what's great about being with this organization is, uh, at least right now, all of these girls really care about each other and they want to win for each other. And that's what I think will help us along this journey through the playoffs. And I know, uh, Natalie, that you've spent a lot of time around Becky Hammond way before she was the Las Vegas Aces head coach, right? You competed against her, uh, with her. So I wanted to ask you this. Have you learned anything new about her this year as she, you know, being the head coach of the Aces and you being the general manager? Maybe something new you learned about about her this year that maybe you didn't know before about her maybe as Becky Hammond, the coach, or personally? I'm just curious. Um, I think one of the things that I didn't really realize as, um, you know, knowing her as a player and a, and a peer is that she really does not want the credit. She wants to give the credit to everyone else, to her players, to the organization, to Mark Davis, 
you know, she is probably one of the most unselfish people I've ever met. And, um, just, just a, a great mom, um, great with her kids, which most people don't get an opportunity to see, but, um, that's, what's really cool. And the players notice it. And that's kind of what is spurring the team first, because yeah. Becky is one of the most unselfish people. So that's what she's trying to, um, teach amongst the team. And I think they're really buying into it. No question. And you, you have a great coaching staff there as well. It's not just Becky Hammond, but Natalie Nicasi is somebody as one of your assistants. I interviewed her. I don't think people know this about her. She was the first female coach on a men's NBA summer league roster. And then she was working under Doc Rivers with the Clippers. I think she's going to be a great head coach someday as well. So uh, you have a great staff there as well. All right, fill in the blank for me, Natalie, before we let you go. The Las Vegas Aces will take care of business tonight against the Phoenix Mercury if they do what? If they share the ball and play defense. Ooh, uh, that, that, I like it. Done. Yep. <laughs> Becky Hammond says it all the time, right? She says, we're an average team when we don't play defense the way I want them to. But when we play defense, I like this team a lot. And, and I, I think I agree with her, and I'm sure you do as well. If they, if they D up and they play D, boy, they're a really tough team to beat. Natalie, uh, you're, you're doing a great job over there with the Aces. I, I love the organization, and I can't wait to see you guys out there tonight. It's going to be a fun atmosphere. And uh, always appreciate it when you take the time to join us. Natalie Williams, General Manager of the Aces. Thank you so much. Thanks, Brian. We'll see you there. All right. See you there. Uh, that's Natalie Williams. She's awesome. She really is. Um, besides the fact, what a career she had. Yeah, right.